I love that music. I love that intro. Thank you, Jeff. Behind the glass, you rock. Welcome, folks. Welcome to Fantasy Golf TV with Jeff Deal. Uh, we are here with some experts on the panel. Brian Stephan, the golf monger himself and sports monger. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Good. And we call him a professor down the end there, Gene, wearing his master's uh, vest again. I love that I stuff. It, I tell you, it was a master's. It's master's <laughs> preview, <laughs> We're still right? living in master's land. I got That's a right. pick for you. <laughs> Thanks Take for joining us, folks. Bank. Thank you very much for joining us. We are here as your fantasy golf gurus to help you pick your teams this week. We got a good one coming up. Uh, just had a really good one uh, uh, this past week, a little match play event. A uh, little uh, abbreviated format, something that uh, the players, it was new for the players as well as uh, everybody watching. Uh, it wasn't confusing. Kind of a round robin thing. Well, you know, it's funny. It was great listening to the guys on, on uh, the commentators trying to, trying to work it all in to see, yeah. well, if he wins his match and he loses his match and try to break it all down, it was fun. You know who understood it? The Europeans. The Europeans, because they do that a lot. Because they do that with soccer they do. And, <laughs> and other sports they like do. that. You know, us Americans were like, what the hell's going on? Who, <laughs> how the hell he? he do yeah. I play or what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that's something that even even private clubs in, in America just don't do, you know? How about, Although, how about Stenson forgetting whether or not he won the match? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's funny. That's one thing. We uh, actually changed our member guest at our club uh, at Barefoot to the uh, round-robin format and uh, the Members love it, so it's a lot of fun, you know, because you, you, you don't play well that first day, but you're still in it. I so. actually think it's better than the old way. Yeah, I, I really I do. I agree, but you still end up with the same thing normally, and that's a bunch of people that you don't expect to be playing playing late. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, case number one, look at my bracket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had nobody on that right side. By the time it? I got to Friday afternoon, I threw mine away because well, everybody, everybody left. And the funny thing is, come Saturday, because we did a little office pool, and everybody got their money back on Saturday. <laughs> 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 uh, anyway, listen, uh, what was it? Um, Rory just uh, lit it up. I mean, hard, you know, TPC at Harden Park, he just uh, he, he cranked it. I mean, he was sharp. Um, what did he finish in the fouls? Birdie, 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 eagle. Yeah. That, he, he just had and slapping him yep. in the face. Yeah. Mean, that, that was awful. What, and then, what a way to lose. And then what, six and five against Woodland? Six and five against Woodland, yeah. I mean, he just, I mean, you know, he, he just lit the golf course up. I mean, and, and you know, one of the things that, that match play is match play. It's a lot of a, stuff going on with an opponent, but you still play the golf course. Right. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it's all about playing the golf course and beating the golf course, no matter what you do. So, uh, and he beat that golf course. He would have run away with a if it was a stroke play event. event. You think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it made me want to go play that golf course. I know what, that. And uh, what, it looked what, like a fun setup. It really did. Well, what does it mean? I, you know, I like to kind of think back. I always kind of look back before we move forward into TPC Sawgrass. But uh, um, what did he do? It was uh, he's the youngest uh, champion, youngest uh, with ten wins, next to Nicholas and Woods, right? Uh, so he's he's going to be a great one. I mean, he's uh, he's awesome. So um, he's uh, number one pick in my book for this week coming up. How about he's already a great one? Yeah. I mean, how many guys have you said when they started their career said, I'll tell you what, we'll give you 10 wins and three majors. Would you take it and never tee it up? Yeah. You know, how many might, guys would say, yes, yeah. thank he, you very much. I'll see you in the clubhouse. He might not have. <laughs> no, but, I, but think about it. The number of players out there that would take that. Oh, yeah, about all the rest And the of question them. would be, do I get the check with it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, that's, yeah. Never <laughs> tee it up. We'll give you the money that goes. We'll give you 10 wins and three majors. Well, and, he uh, chipped it. Have a, have a nice day. I mean, he putted it to death. He chipped it to death. He birdied it to death. I mean, he, he drove the ball high and far. I mean, he just lit that course up. Here's the so. thing. He's driving it very straight right now. Yeah. Which is scary to anybody because you don't have to worry about that part of his game and getting in trouble, which means if he's playing from 340 yards – off the tee in the center of the fairway. I mean, what's he got in his hand? Right. Short irons. You know, that's, that's why Fury can press me more than anybody else out there. Yeah. Fury's playing very well, well right now. 270, gentlemen. Yeah. yeah. His best, 270. Yeah. He's playing early. very well right now. Coming off the big win uh, uh, to break his drought. Yep. Uh, You're so nice. But, <laughs> well, you know what? Yeah. I, no, that's a good point, though, with Fury. But he's playing well. I mean, he, he, li he hits BBs off the tee. You know, like oh, you yeah. said, two seventies is longest. Um, but uh, the the past few venues that you played, that's what you have to do. 
and, and this one coming up, TPC Players Sawgrass. Same way. But same way. I mean, you've got to, it's a shop maker's course, but you've got to be straight off the tee. And uh, and I, that's why I like him this week. I really do. Yeah. I, I don't think he's a bad pick this week. But, you know, it, in terms of Rory, Here. you just got to watch yeah. Rory. Every once oh. in a while, Rory will throw that, uh, you know, back 940 in, you know, well, on the second day or something. That, you know, you yeah, know. but hopefully not. <laughs> uh, he hasn't done it in a while. If, yeah. if, 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 as you're reading this week, a lot of people talking about, you know, some of the talking heads talking about stay away from Rory because they're worried about the fatigue factor. Well, Cause he's got seven rounds over the weekend he played, you know, yeah. over the past weekend. And, and a couple of them. That's a lot of going. He went extra holes. You know, a couple of times. I asked Gene before we, when we got here. I said, "Did he get on that airplane and, and go to Vegas to watch the fight, no, and then come back for the he sat night pizza with Jimmy Roberts and the rest in the, of the crew in the press tent?" Yeah. yeah, that's what I just found out that tonight. Pretty cool. That's part of the reason I didn't pick him to win. I figured he was so excited to go to the fight that he might bag it and. It, well, it, and, and so he could be in Vegas. Yeah, because I watched the fight. Miss anything. I no. was watching the fight, and I'm looking at the in the background to find out where that empty seat was. <laughs> you know, I see Tom Brady. You know, yeah. I see uh, Jay Z, and I'm like, "Where's that empty seat back there?" Did you guys get up in time to watch Casey in the final part of the playoff? By any chance? I did. Okay. I did not. Was that not two of the best shots you've ever well, seen did you know, from a guy that couldn't hardly hold his head up? Yeah, I, he got food poisoning. What, what do you do that night and go and eat? Don't tell me you get to go for seafood and clams. I mean, it just it serves you right. The two, the two shots even amazed him. I thought it was... Uh, Speaking of somebody else who wouldn't be a bad pick this week. Paul Casey. <laughs> he's solid. Well, where as long do, you, as he's where do you think I was going? Well, I, as long well as he's right recovered, now. though. He's, is he recovered? I I'm mean, sure he would. Food poisoning. Food, food poisoning is only a yeah. 24 hour thing. He'll be on my team. Yeah. Well, <laughs> all right, TPC, let's get right into it. TPC Sawgrass. You guys played it? You played it. I have not. You never played it. You I played, have it. Not played it. It's it. awesome. It's I love it. It's one of my top three or four uh, all time. It's one, of, it's one of the Brian, scariest. Brian, you know what I? It's one of the scariest golf courses you can play. Well, we, we, walked Ocean, we walked off Ocean Course, and I said, that's one of my favorites. And TPC's right there. I mean, a Pete Dye course. Um, I work at a Pete Dye course, so I'm, I guess I'm favorable to that but uh it, it is awesome i three of my favorite holes i like to call them i was reading an article this morning about it uh thrills and spills uh 16 17, 17 and 18. 18 you know it's awesome 16 is definitely a birdie hole eagle hole if you get a good drive off but but treacherous you know tightening your grip there holding it the laid out there good then you can get up and down and and uh, for a birdie, but um, those guys don't tighten their grip. <laughs> <laughs> well, at club club pro levels do, um, and then obviously seventeen. Seventeen is uh, you know talk it's about tightening. It's a short little par three. Par <laughs> a little one twenty nine nine iron. Yeah, for me, you know. Well, you know, and, the part uh, of the hurts is that all. That's all it is. Yeah, the hardest hole is eighteen. Yeah. 18 is way I saw harder. I saw stats, and I think I wrote a couple things down about um, about 17, where um, 553 bogeys on that hole or something compared to any other hole. It's that uh, it's listed as the eighth hardest hole on the course, but uh, think about it, it's a 129 yard par three, and it's the eighth hardest hole on the course. So, uh, but you can get wet quick. And then uh, what was it? Uh, 98, 97 when Freddie. Uh, knocked it in the water, and then his second shot. Hold it. Third it. shot, he hold his it. His third, third shot, shot, he hold it. Mm -hmm. Nice That's three, Freddie. Great stuff. So great drama on that hole. And then 18, if, if you've never – and you've got to play the course. 18 is awesome. I mean, think about uh, 18, uh, my course, die club. 18, water all up the left-hand side. Yep. Wind dead in your face. Gradually uphill. You just can't, you don't see it. You don't feel it, but it is. You always come up short. What's the most famous – Listen to me. What's the most famous comment made by a player on 18? Be the right club. Today. 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 I love Today. it. Yeah. That's I love uh, it. Hal Sutton. Yeah. Hal that's Sutton. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that was and great, too. And it was. He, he had a, did Wait, he hit a four stop. iron in for something that day because the wind was in his My face? My memory's pretty good, but it's not that good. I don't think it was. A it was four or five iron. He yeah, because right it, it's, it's normally a mid iron for those guys, but uh, – 
when the wind was in your face. I, I had I had a four iron. Mid iron now. I back had, then it was a little bit more club. It's an awesome golf course. So um, no doubt. Again, shot maker. So all right, let's get into it. We got uh, we're ten minutes into our show, and uh, and it's about fantasy golf and picking the right players for your team. I am down to zero for for speed. I think I got two more shots at him this year, and we still have three majors to play. Just make sure um, you pick a tournament that he's gonna compete in. Uh, when I say compete, I mean at the level he normally does. Right. And I certainly think this is one of I, them. I totally agree. And he's on my team. You're probably not the only person who's down to. That's true. To I think I got five left. Well, let's check out our, our standings here for uh, just Four uh, or five. I know we took last week off because of the match play and all, but uh, um, our standings, we're all pretty bunched up together. We have out of all of our people, there's a lot of people in this one league we're in. Uh, um, let's see. Dr. Putt, that is our own old friend Chris Vest. He is leading yeah. our league. That's he's back good. in uh, Indiana Indiana right now, but uh, Chris, well, if you're listening. Uh, wait a minute. Is he leading the league or is he leading the He's leading our segment. Segment. Let's segment. Keep that, let's keep that well, segment. Uh, you know, yeah. there's a lot of points for that segment. Well, that's, there's a lot, of, do I, what, yeah, a lot of points for that segment. A lot of points for that segment. What is this? But the leader is the guy who has the most points for the overall. Um, right, for the full season. Yes. And then T, two off the first tee, who you keep swearing this guy's going to forget a week, and he hasn't yet, and he's, he's in second place. He uh, will screw up at some point, and trust he, me. And he's listening right now, and he knows I was going to say <laughs> this because I say it every week when you bring it up. He will screw up. <laughs> He did I'm not going to mention him anymore because this way he'll maybe I'll lull himself to sleep and and sometimes uh, <laughs> coming. But he is he's actually leading overall. Uh, yes. he's, yeah. he's in first place. So uh, and then um, fantasy boyfriends. That's uh, my friend from the Golf Channel. She she's a uh, a technical she's assistant. She's getting inside information. I want to talk to you about that. She, <laughs> actually, she's all over the world. She was in China last I week. Want to lodge a protest. She's there. She's in L.A. So right she now. She probably had somebody so fill it in for her and made her picks. And yeah. then I'm in fourth. Yeah, rah rah. And then uh, Jimmy, fifth place. Jimmy uh, Biggs, our one and only. And uh, Brian, you're in eighth place. You lost uh, two slots this past week. So uh, and Gene, you're in eleventh place, but you gained. Six, six points so you're uh, you're actually pretty good so you're all doing pretty good um let's get to some picks i like uh i like jordan I, jordan is my number one pick this week um i i have a couple of sleepers too because i have to the way i've picked my my teams this year but uh, and i'm gonna plug some guys in and we talked about it earlier gary woodland is one of them that i like as a sleeper from my team but uh jordan's piece so i in terms of uh, you guys, well, who's your number one player that you're going to put on your team or you'd like to put on your team without giving us too much information? Might be Rory. I, I think you got to worry about the ones that don't have the solid players like your C group. You lose two C players and you've lost a lot of points if you go through the rest of you know, the yeah, last two I lost rounds. places the last tournament because I had three guys miss the cut. There you go. That's what you got to be looking at. I like Morgan Hoffman and I like Sean O'Hare. Morgan Hoffman, you asked me about him earlier. I mean, you said, let me see the list of players and where's Morgan Hoffman? I mean, you just picked this guy like, like Fleetwood right out of the air. I mean, He's that's the professor. Well. He's playing well. I mean, He's playing well. And out, of a gr and out of the C group? I mean, uh, while, while Gene brings that up, let's just look at the C group. I got it. It's no. not real strong. No, <laughs> Patrick Reed is in it. Brendan Steele. Uh, Ryan Moore is in it. Kevin Na. I like Keegan Bradley if, if he's not going to argue with anybody. Keegan Bradley, Bradley you know, stop. Gotta get no, that. wait stop. a minute. Wait a minute. Keegan, <laughs> what did we say the Keegan, other week about I know, him? I know. No, what did we you say don't about like him? him that guy is a bag full of cats. <laughs> what? That was he's another a word. bag <laughs> full of cats. That was, he's as... He's as he because he's, he's as crazy as a sack full of wet cats. I've never That's seen it. <laughs> well, I've never seen a guy stare somebody down. So, the hell oh, was man. that all? Does he not realize that Miguel Anel Jimenez, the man. Miguel my, oh, Jesus, what can his name? Jimenez would have beat the crap out of him. Yeah, I, he would have. He really. I mean, would've. if not, if not head? now, in 2018, when he's a Ryder Cup captain for Europe. I mean, serious? Yeah, yeah but. Uh, wait a minute, guys. You're not saying Miguel was in the right to do what he did. I'm not saying he's in the right, but Keegan got in his face. Does he not realize? <laughs> like Keegan said, go over there and stay by your ball like I did when you were getting a ruin. Yeah. He says, don't tell my caddy to shut up. Is that Who was leading at that particular point? He was up one, right? Doesn't even matter. I think he was up one. So was that just gazemanship being a jerk? Yes. Uh, you know. 
Uh, is that what it's all about? Yeah. In my opinion, I, I, he shouldn't have He's said that. He's still anything. one of the players I would love to play with. Yeah, me too. I would, I would love At to least play with Drink some wine and drink, smoke there's some cigars there's with him. There's a reason anyway. they Before call him the most after. interesting man in the world. That's yeah. right. I mean, come on. He pulls that, that case up with the Cubans. I still think he stepped out of line on yeah. that one. He was definitely out of line, but Keegan kind of overreacted. A little All right, here's another guy on, on the C list. I like Sean O'Hare. He is one of the guys on my list, Sean O'Hare. That, uh, the one I, like. I just picked? Yeah. Oh, you just said that? Yeah, he did. <laughs> she did. He can <laughs> make uh, more excuses, Jeff, for taking my picks <laughs> than anybody I've ever. Oh, he still thinks one of yours? Yours? <laughs> he didn't even. He didn't even. No, no, Sean O'Hare was in the tournament until Is he anybody picking? Said it the other, just a few minutes ago. I just By said I was picking him. Sean t- looking at Jeff, our producer. I like, uh, don't forget that Louis Eustace is in the C group. Uh, he's strong. Don't he's forget strong. he's in the C Although, group. Although, listen, I did, I did write down my top five, and he is not part of it. Um, my top five uh, for, the, for this week is Jordan Spieth, number one, Rory. Number two, I got Jim Furyk, number three. And I can't figure out why Jim Furyk has not won this event yet. I mean, it's his home course. He lives a mile down the road. Because um, he, he had the 54-hole lead. That would explain that. <laughs> he loves Pete Dye courses. I mean, he, he aced it at, at Hilton Head this year. Absolutely. Um, he, plays my, he played my course three weeks ago. He, he loves it. I mean, although he didn't win that event either. Um, Nobody did. It stopped so. after four, 14 holes. It was raining. That's true. well, yeah. They scored a ten hole event, yeah. but uh, um, it was raining. But no, I'm not kidding. I I think uh, he's primed this year. I think he's playing very well right now. So I, th- I like Jim Furyk. Anyway. Um, and then number Dude. four, Henrik Stenson. Right now, guys, write it down. I Henrik like Stenson. Stenson. No, okay. You don't like Stenson? Mm-mm. I do this week. What I like about Stenson, and then my fifth pick, Jimmy he didn't Walker. Know whether he won or not, that that bothered me. I think his mind's slipping, maybe a little old age. Yeah, he's not that old. Could be. I like Stenson. Uh, what lead? What what board is um or what board? What what list is Furyk on? Uh, is he on the A? He is an A. Okay. He is an A. Yeah, and most of these are actually A, a and B players here. You know who we haven't um, mentioned yet? The defending champ. You picking him again? No. <laughs> Just I mean I don't like him. He hasn't been playing that well. No. Well, what about uh? Sergio is a good Serg- steady player. Yeah, Sergio, Sergio is. Solid. Out of, I tell you what, right now, if I, if, right now, I always put in picks before I come here, just so I can say this is what I have now, and inevitably I change it. But right now, my A players, I have Stenson and, and Garcia, as my A players. My two A players right now is Garcia and Rory. That was my first gut pick when I ran down the thing. I do that every week. It's like okay, last second, put in your picks. Just go with your gut, and that's what I went. But. I, I yeah, it's hard to not the way he's played the last couple of weeks. It's hard not to pick Fury. Is Patrick Reed on anybody's mind right now? Nope, he's not. Right? Like what happened? He just kind of fell off a little bit. He's just having a downtime right yeah. now. But you know, this is the kind of event that he could show up. How about Dustin? Uh, he likes the course. He likes a Pete Dye course. He does. You know, whistling straights, ocean course. He plays well in those. Die club, die club at Barefoot. He's on my team. That's Dustin. I mean, again, it comes down to we're starting to get to that time of year that how many plays do you have left with guys? Enough. If you got enough is all that matters. But, you know, when you start looking at these lists, if you like guys, you know, like Jeff says, he's got like two plays with um, Spieth. Like. Yeah, two. And there's still three majors. So I'm a little unhappy there. That's but why look no, at my team right here. I got I got Sergio Rory. I haven't remember Rory didn't play early in the year. He was in Euro, He was in uh, the far. Uh, I have several picks with Rory left. The Middle Plus, East. I also didn't like him in a couple of events. So so I've got um, Justin Rose. I've only used him twice. Matsuyama. I've only used him once. These guys are all on my team right now. Uh, Russell Henry. Russell good Henry. Henry. Yeah, Henry. Good I like pick. him. He's Should on my be a team. Good so for him. So hopefully these uh, these will help you uh, you folks. Um, this is a tough one. I mean, when you get to the players, well, you got so many good players. Well, they're all is there, and it's not like one. I mean, is there anybody that you can clearly say, you know, what every year when he shows up, he plays well? Sergio. Sergio. Okay. Yeah. Name another one. Uh, yeah. Furyk. Nobody. nobody. Stenson. Really? Couple guys. Yeah. Every year. Well. A lot. That's what I'm saying. 
You're right. I don't think but there's... It's, it's 144 of the best players. That's why the whole debate this week, you, no matter what channel you turn on, is it the fifth major? Should it be the fifth major? Just name it the fifth okay. major for crying do we, out loud. Why does it have well, to have a name? Why do we have to have another major? Well, because it changes a lot. That's why they won't do it. No, one of the reasons they won't do it is everybody's scared that it'll gain the popularity. It'll never be the Masters, but it could be second. Strictly, Will it take away from? Strictly yeah. because... It's played on the same venue every year, yeah. right? And that's important, right? It is. The Masters is the only one that plays on the same venue every year. Well, and it's let's the see. it's the Which richest tournament think next everybody to everybody would rather win that one. It's the richest tournament, right next to uh, the PJ Championship, right? What did they pay? A million eight. Million eight. That's a good payday. That's very good. Yeah, I take it. <laughs> so, all right. Um, Don't forget Paul Casey. That's the don't, don't forget player. I'm saying don't forget in your C group. Don't forget Louis Ustazen. Oh, I like him too. I do. In the C group, do not, do not forget him. I like Henley. Russell Henley. Russell Henley's not a bad. Put one. him on your team. Sean O'Hare. That's from the, uh, the guru himself. Okay. Thank you for very, very much for being here, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll dog sit for you anytime. I got another That's date it. coming up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, thank you. You folks. heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> um, appreciate y'all coming. Uh, it's uh, it's a great show. We hopefully we're uh, helping you guys out and and girls uh, with your fantasy teams this year. TGD Radio and TV are pro pro produced and broadcast by the Zeus Radio Network for thegolfdirector.com. When visiting the golf director, be sure to check out our featured golf course.